Greetings to all of humanity's really joys, my pleasures, my honor, being out here well connected with nature and bringing to you this message of emancipation, whereby I'm pointing you to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity. That's why I want to speak to you concerning how everything that you desire, it already exists. And Abdullah, the black mystic from Ethiopia, Neville Goddard Mentor, he taught Neville this lesson concerning how everything that he desires, that it already exists, and that all he needs to do is use his imagination to have the experience. But when you look more deeply, you would realize that it is because everything is energy, vibration, and frequency so when I say that everything that you desire it already exists though it already exists until you could vibrate to that frequency you would not be able to attract it to you so there is definitely a law of attraction and that law of attraction is whereby you have to be an equal vibration being on the same frequency to draw or uh, attract something in your reality now we all are creators but some create unconsciously while others create consciously knowing that we are to be conscious creators and as a conscious creator you must know that everything works by law and that there's a law of sowing and reaping. And that is why whenever we have a desire for something, we know that desire that we are feeling. It is God speaking to us because a desire is a spiritual sensation and we are spirit having a human experience we are God in flesh so this is God communicating with you with this desire and it seems as if it is not possible it seems as if it's not there because we are trapped in time space and matter because having this human experience brings certain limitation, yet we are limitless. So it is us getting out of the humanistic barrier and vibrating higher to understand that all things are possible to them that believe, to believe the creation story that everything is already here everything that you behold without it is within when we look at all the things in this world that has been invented as long as you can see it and someone would have already appropriate it and materialize it here you can attract that to you all you have to do is raise your vibration, raise your frequency to a higher level. So my brother and my sisters, when Neville wanted to travel to see his family and he had no work, he had no money, Abdullah taught him that money is already created and money is already there for him. All he have to do is vibrate to that frequency to attract that money to him. Abdullah show, taught Neville also that he would have already traveled to Barbados and he would have already traveled to Barbados first class. Because everything that is happening in the physical, it is taking place first in the spiritual world, in the world of your imagination. And that is why imagination is God in man and you are to see things through the eye of imagination. So Abdullah advised Neville 
to live in his imagination morning, noon, and night, and to see himself sleeping in his mother's home in Barbados while he resides in New York, and also to see himself walking the streets of Barbados while he's walking the streets of New York. This is, this is a Neville vibrating on the level of knowing that if what Abdullah is saying to him, if it will come to pass that he would have found the Savior and the Redeemer. And so when Neville found that letter under his door with $50, he went to Abdullah and he said, Ab, it worked. It worked. And he was all excited. But when he went to the shipping company and they told him that he was going to travel third class, but Abdullah would have told him before that he was going to travel first class. And when he went to Abdullah with that third class conversation, Abdullah would have none of it. Because Abdullah understands how the law of liberty works. That law of liberty that wants to set each and every one of us free. Free from limiting beliefs by accepting our higher self, our God self, and believe that everything that we ever I would ever Desire is already existing. It's already here. You just have to go into that realm. You have to go into that dimension. That's why you're told in my father's house, there are many mansions. There are many, 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 there are infinite states of mind, infinite states of consciousness. And you have to go in by lifting your vibration to that level, lifting your frequency to that level. So my brother and my sisters, you have no need to worry or to fret for anything because you are not actually creating anything. It's already here. It is just you raising your vibration. It is you just coming to that frequency that you can attract things, certain things within your life. So my brother and my sisters, you are the one who's responsible for yourself and you are the one who's responsible for whatever environment is your experience because as it is without so is it within everything starts within the mind so fix your mind and you'll fix your life remember my brother and my sisters you are the apparent power you have to operate that power and you have a power that you can use to achieve your every desire and everything that you will ever desire it's already provided for you so, with that being said, my brother and my sister, I just want to encourage you to continue to be persistent in that which you so desire, especially in these times that we are living, just like in the time of Abdullah and Neville Garden. And we see the same advice is being given to you, the same encouragement to believe in yourself and to trust that creative power that is in you. So, I want to say to you, if this is the first time that you listen to me, and what I'm saying is resonating with you and you haven't subscribed already, I'm encourage you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, I want to encourage you to follow me on Instagram at Black Mad Guru. And also, if you would like to support this work in any way, you can become a patron. And there's a link down below for you if you'd like to become a patron or if you would like to donate to this work. We have a PayPal and I, I'm encouraging you to just follow your heart. So with that being said, I want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.